Lance was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. Once everything's settled down, though, let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. Paul Australe was no match for it. I can't figure it out. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Autophagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like he can find Apatheia lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. Hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apatheia. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Hmm, then we may end up with as many spirits as there are grains of sand. Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no! This is your genius plan! Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained... gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. Ugh. Who cares? Blastia or no Blastia, a single ore is all I need to cross the ocean. I admire your spirit, Patty. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? There'll be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. Otherwise, the world will fall to the Autophagos even if no one else ever understands why. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Aye, we'll cross those other bridges when we come to them. Baul knows where the other Entelikea are, right? Yeah, let's get back to the ship and ask him. The shining forest of Area Lumen, and the root of the world, Reloise. I've never heard of those places. If only we could glimpse them. Would make things far easier. <sighs> Baul says he knows. However, hmm? he doesn't want to tell us. Apatheas only come from the death of Intelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world. But we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apatheia by force. Baul, please. Tell us where the Entelikea are. Area Lumen is in the northeast part of Tolbikia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Baul. We also need to go to the Sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tolbikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea? The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land. But every time, they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Terkalumaris. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wake is that bad, then let's leave Reloes for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baul. Let's go. We can't exactly dawdle forever.
He's hurt! Why is he flying? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey! He's landing! I it looks like he's... calling us. Let's go. Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry. But things aren't over yet. Zaude is lost. The Adephagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please. What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! The Spirit of Fire. I feel unlimited power! It's been a long time, hasn't it, my leader? I congratulate you on your conversion. Such consideration. Pelias? So you too have... I am now called Undine, the ruler of the waters. I have changed form, so I too require a new name. You, who have reincarnated me, give me a name. The Fearsome Fiery Fireball King! Such a powerful, terrible fire. The Blazing One, Ifrit. I am now connected strongly to the world, and all seems new again. Even this wasteland is filled with power. <laughs> Wonderful! Fear not. We are bound to you. Wherever you go, we are with you. The Intelikea and the Child of the Full Moon bear spirits. Nature's providence is great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. 
Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. This looks like the center of the crystallization. It's beautiful. Like we're in a dream. It's air that crystallized at low density. Is this mana? I have to take a sample. This entire forest is a treasure. But it likely won't fit on the ship. Just how do they come up with such different reactions? They just shatter! <laughs> this is fun! You're so stupid. Nature didn't make this, you know. Huh? What do you mean? The center of a new land that just crystallized. Somewhere around here is the one who made that happen. And an air crane. Ooh. What's up, Repeat? Find something? This is... Someone crushed these crystals, and it wasn't us. What curious fellow would venture all the way out here? Looks like someone got here before us. Watch out. We're lucky Pharaoh decided to help us out. He's a little extreme, but there's no doubt he cares for this world, just like Judy said. I've been hard on him in the past, but he has helped us out all this time. We must defeat the Autophagos and save the world for Pharaoh and his love of the world. Ah, no cheesy lines. Yeah, come on! Honestly, you two should learn to show your feelings.
I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. are currently patrolling the area. Leave it... Nan! These wounds are terrible. Come on, Nan! Carol, what are you doing alone? Where's the boss and Tyson? Master and the others went on. But what? They left you behind? The boss is one thing, but I can't believe Tyson wouldn't take you. What happened? We wound up fighting our target here. I... I couldn't do anything. Just like always. Master said it's because I had doubts. Doubts? I hate monsters. They shouldn't be alive. I still feel that way. But now, at a time like this, hunting monsters isn't that important. There are other things we should be doing. When I told him that... They up and left you. Fools. With everything the way it is, how can they not take another look at their lives? That's terrible! I mean, Nan's right! Relax, Carol. Hey, the Hunting Blades are after Entelikea, right? We should hurry. Yeah. Nan, can you walk? Huh? Yeah, but it's too dangerous to be alone here. Come with us, Nan! Carol, okay.
focus on the enemy in front. Man, I want some more. Before me! Oh, 
Destiny Burn. yet. Fireball! I found you the sign of victory! Yeah! Yay! I can do even better than this! I'm even Yeah! That's the luck! Good work. Yeah. Get some rest. You did well. Who are you talking to, Carol? Ah! Ah! Don't startle me like that! I I'm sorry. Did you hear that just now? Yeah, we heard it. You talk to your sword? It cuts better when I do that. Actually, we just won this battle because I gave my sword lots of encouragement before. Really? Whatever floats your boat. Well, that was unexpected. What? Nothing. Thank you for all the work you do. We can't wait to see how well you perform next time. It must be tough having such an unreliable owner. You're the only one we can count on. Um, uh, good luck next time. Wow, thanks, guys! I'll bet my attack power will double in the next battle. Don't get carried away! This one's pretty tough. We must be cautious. Gamba! Uh, 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 flickering That wasn't too bad. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. <laughs> You okay? Hammer! Oh, you like that? Sacrifice thy body to That didn't work! That wasn't too bad. You're going bye bye. Our weapons are blades. From behind. Oh, man. Relax. Who's next?
Gusios. That's Gusios? Back at Kerbakrum? So the hunting blades have a history with them. So which one of them is our bucko? Which one is what now? Judith, wait! Something's wrong! Why won't anything hurt it? It's eating the air, but this is... Nan, it's too dangerous! Nan, what are you doing here? You don't know what you're doing. I told you, you just get in the way. Run, there's nothing you can do here. No, the guild is my family. I can't just leave you to die. Damn it! Man! You! Gusios, calm down! Tell me what happened! What happened to him? It doesn't look like he's in the mood for talking. Even Intellikea cannot ingest limitless amounts of air. Those who ingest more than they can endure change and... No! Become out of Fagos themselves. What? So he got like this by trying to protect the world? Gusios. Save him. While he is still Gusios. Right. Okay. Guess the this is how, how it has to be. I can't believe we have to kill him. If there's no other way, then then we'll do it. There's no way to save him if he becomes an autophagos. You're right. Let's get this over with. I thought we were dead. It's not over yet. Did we 
really have to kill him? It's all we can do. I can do even better than this! Yeah! That's the luck! Gusios, I'm sorry. What? He's gone! Now you want to hate this, too? That's the soul of that monster. I've got to crush it! He's not a monster. They were trying to protect the world. This is something even a sea slug could understand with a bit of thought. I don't care what the Antilochea were for! You knew. All this time, you knew what the Antilochea were. You knew and you still hunted them? With the world like it is? Ten years ago, the Antilochea killed my family. And it's not just me. Most of the hunting blades have lost something important to monsters. No matter what happens to the world, my feelings for these things will never change. But you're wrong. What? No matter what you do, you can't bring anyone back. You aren't the only ones who lost loved ones in the war. But some try to be positive and keep living. You can't save anyone, yourself included, if all you do is lash out in hatred. Instead, you should treasure the ones who are still here. I think it's admirable to protect a city from monsters, but... Don't just be pig-headed about it. Do it when the world is, you know, okay. It's too late for me to change. Huh. If you're gonna get in our way, then we'll settle things here. Chief. <sighs> Please wait! Let me at least heal you! Get up, you maggots! We're withdrawing! Thank you. I wonder if he understood. Who knows? So let's make a spirit. Eyes or moving or anything. His consciousness itself was nearly taken. He will not wake for a while. Now, give him a name. What's his element? A power rooted deep within the world. Earth itself. Earth? Hmm. The spreader of roots. Gnome. The spirit of Earth. Gnome. Let us tell him once he awakens. I can't believe Entelikea, who try to control air, wind up as autophagos. <laughs> People can't understand anything except what they see with their own eyes. So after all that happened, turns out the worst thing in the world is people. Humans, we're our own worst enemy. Which means we have to work that much harder. Yeah, you're right. So his family was killed by the Antilochea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade any time soon. Maybe he has his reasons, but I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. But you've grown since then. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to worry about. Right, Carol? Huh? <laughs> 